here in Camperdown for the final stage of the tour of the Great South Coast. It's going to be the survival of the fittest today, wet and windy conditions. It's a 15.6 kilometre circuit, six laps, plenty of time bonuses on offer. We've got six hill climbs, five sprints and obviously line honours as well for bonus points. The Uride Racing Team, headed by Alex Edmondson, will be trying extra hard today to try and cut down that 53 second lead held by our yellow jersey leader and Sam Horgan from Budget Forklifts. On their way to the final stage of the 2013 Camp We need to isolate Budget Forklifts down to as many or as less riders as possible. And uh, if we can get Sam Horgan into a one-on-one -on -one situation with the likes of uh, Alex and Darren Lapthorne and Jack Haig on this climb and he has to cover a lot of that, uh, there's a possibility that the gaps could open up pretty quickly around here. In these conditions anything can happen so if, if it comes down to isolation of a group of 10 or so riders, he really has a big opportunity with this sort of wind and the rain and um, he's certainly very strong at the moment and he's very motivated, he's, he's enjoying the road and yeah, he, he won't go down without a fight today, that's for sure. The Euro team set it up nicely and they, they snuck Alex away in that crosswind section. Actually I covered that one without too much fuss but um, the pace slowed up a bit on the hill and that allowed uh, Lapthorne and Haig back into the game and um, immediately they went on the offensive and took Edmondson with, me, uh, with them. So it was a bit of a scramble over the top. I was probably about, I don't know, 30 metres down on the, probably the three strongest riders in the race. So it was a bit stressful. But... Up the climb, uh, Jack Haig did an unbelievable turn. I was, I've dug deep, deep so I reckon I've ever been. I could pretty much just taste blood. But uh, yeah, I had to get through it and, and put it behind me. And so to come away with the win is just, yeah, unbelievable, and uh, yeah, I just couldn't do it without the team. You're right. It's an amazing stage that one. It was uh, bloody windy uh, with the rain, being freezing cold, and with that climb, it was a. Uh, it was a very hard race, I think it's the hardest race I've ever done to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, just to come out on top was, uh, was just, yeah, bittersweet. It's, it's, it's been a really uh, quite emotional week. Right at, at the very start when I took the jersey, uh, I didn't have a lot of confidence in our ability to uh, defend good. It was such a long tour and a long way. Um, but every day the boys stepped up. Um, they rode incredible and uh, I became more and more confident seeing, uh, seeing how well they're going and how much confidence they had in me. It was amazing having my mum and dad over here. Um, mum was just over here with some work. It was like, by complete luck. Um, they don't often get to, see me, uh, get to see me race, especially over here in the NRS, and yeah, it means a lot having them here.